so you can play. Mini War Gaming's Reign of Chaos! Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to another Reign of Chaos. Here with... Steve. We're going to be talking about an apocalypse, an apocalypse formation. And that is the Heldrake Fear Squadron, as it should be called. Yeah. Because it causes fear. This formation, the requirement is three to five Heldrakes. How many did I bring in mine? Four? You brought four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the middle ground type of thing, okay? There's no restrictions to this formation. And uh, let's see what the special rules are. Fueled by fear. All the Heldrakes in the Fear Squadron ignore the once per game restriction for their Demon Forge special rule. That's amazing, mm -hmm. okay? They may use their Demon Forge special rule every turn. When using its Demon Forge special rule, Heldrake must still make a D6 to see if it suffers a whole point damage at the end of the phase. So, all right. Demon Forge, for those of us who are unaware, you uh, declare that you're going to be doing it and you get to re-roll your failed armor penetration rolls and fail two wound rolls. And you do roll a die and on a one you lose a whole point at the end of the, at the phase. But that's amazing because typically it's once per game. But in this, it's every turn. Yep. So that is a big deal. That's a really big deal, especially with the, you know, the Bale Flamer. And I will use it every turn. Yeah, or Ball Flamer. You call it a Ball Flamer, don't you? Bale Flamer. You call it Bale Flamer? It's a Christian Bale Flamer. Yeah, it's just a Christian Bale Flamer. It's a Batman Reign of... No, it's a Reign of Fire. <laughs> you know that movie, Reign of Fire? Yeah, that's a good that's movie. Perfect. I like that's movie. why I called it a Bale Flamer. Absolutely. <laughs> And here's the other thing. Harbingers of the Apocalypse. A Helldrake Fear Squadron does not enter play as a normal unit of flyers and is instead deployed with the rest of the army. Before the first turn begins, but after deployment is complete, the Fear Squadron may make a pregame move of up to 60 inches, during which the Helldrakes may each make a special out-of-sequence vector strike. Casualties caused by this vector strike do not cause morale tests. If this special vector strike is used, the Fear Squadron may not make a vector strike on the first turn of the game, though it may fire its weapons as normal. So you don't have to keep them in reserves. You can have them on the right. table first turn. And it's well, essentially like a scout move, but it's better than a scout move. It, it, it's so awesome, whether you have first or second turn. Yeah. I mean, if you have first turn, you get your free huge movement, your free vector strikes, you do all your shooting, and then you fly off the board. Now this was better in 6th edition because Vector Strike is... Vector Strike was better. And also with other flyers, if your enemy has other flyers, it doesn't, it's not that great because Vector Strike is awesome against other flyers. So this only really matters against like ground units. And uh, so it's Which okay. Which is the primary target anyway. It's okay. The good thing like, is that you get them on first board, first turn. That's, well, that's no, in Apocalypse you're going to get that anyway. With, with Heldrix? No, with flyers. They're coming on turn one. Is, is this something I'm unaware of? Yeah, no, in Apocalypse you can just bring all your stuff on turn can one. Can you? Yeah. I didn't realize. Oh, I no. thought they must start in reserve. No, no, no. Well, they do, but they can come on turn one without rolling. They just come on. Because that's an apocalypse rule? It's an apocalypse rule. Okay. I don't play enough to know. Yeah, come the apocalypse, you just bring all your models. There's no rolling for reserves and all that nonsense. Everything is it called come the apocalypse? Well, I don't because know. Because come the apocalypse is like on the allied chart. No, no, I just use that for everything for apocalypse. Come really? the apocalypse. So you just call it come the apocalypse? That's <laughs> that's the <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I dress bet it. You would? Oh, absolutely. You would dress bet that you can bring them in normally. Yeah. But here's the thing. <laughs> Get your hand down. Just take the hand. I know you just want to take your hand. No, no, it's not. You're too afraid to say no. But it says here that before the first turn begins, after the deployment's complete, we'll hold on that. Okay. Up. Instead of deploy with the rest of the army. Oh, okay. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. On the table. No, if you're, going, if you're going second, right, you still do your 16-inch move before your opponent goes. Right. Now you're in their deployment zone. Yeah. Um, they got to take care. They got, they got to worry about you. There's probably five Heldrakes in the deployment zone they're going to have to shoot down right now. And you bring that uh, asset where you get to bring them exactly. back. Exactly. Right? So, so that's why you don't care if they get shot down. So whether you do one of two things. If you go first, they do a lot of damage and then fly away. If you go second, they, t they soak up a lot of your anti-air or whatever firepower in that area. Mm -hmm. And then they die and you bring them back. Yeah. So Now they're a formation. They're not a squadron, right? Right. So the whole formation comes back. And they can fly right. your separate ways. That's right. Yeah. Divide and conquer. Yeah, exactly. That's how it works. Exactly. I mean, they would have been a lot better when they were before the last FAQ, but they're still very scary when there's five of them. Mm -hmm. But one thing I would probably do... Even three you of didn't, them. Even three of them, sure. You kept all of them with Bale Flamers and not one with the... Uh, Hades Autocannon. Yeah. But why? Why would you do Hades Autocannon? Armor. 
armor, but there's other things I have to uh, beat armor. Right? These guys are good for the torrent cover ignoring AP3 awesomeness. Right? Which is, excuse me, which is awesome. That's why I bring it. Right? Well, what's the strength of the Hades Auto Gun? Is it uh, strength 8 AP3? Not AP3, it's AP4. AP4? But it is strength 8. So it's not as good, but it's heavy 4, I believe. Hades Auto Cannon? Yeah, strength 8 AP4, 36 inches, heavy 4 pinning. Uh, a BS3, right? Yeah. Uh, with the hell? Uh, well, he's a demon, so it's gotta be three. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So no, you're right. Okay, no, no, hitting again. Yeah. So you're hitting on fours, but you're doing your demon forge every turn. So you're oh, re-rolling. Yeah. No, you no, not re-rolling your hits. You're re-rolling your, your wounds. wounds. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't care about losing the wounds because you kind of want the unit to go down at one point. Because you can bring them back. Exactly. Yeah. See, it's that asset that yeah. makes everything scary. That's right. It's like the first thing you take down, I'm gonna bring back. So like, just take me down. That's how it is. A, a, a four flyer asset. I mean, you're gonna definitely bring that back. Yeah, because it's too I many mean, points. You debated not on the last game we played. You debated on bringing that or the fire back. What did I bring back? You, you did bring back the the hell drakes. Yeah, definitely good to bring with uh, the asset to bring them to bring the formation back. It's right. good to bring with this because it's just it's scary. Well, that's just good for everything though. But I mean, but like especially especially this. Right. right? Like I mean, five hell drakes. The picture of them all coming back. It's going to make you want to like kill all but one. The thing is, too, is, it's, is when the game is really close and points, you can save that asset for turn five, turn six, bring them on the table, and fly them right to the objectives that you need them to be on mm -hmm. within one or two turns. Yeah. So it, it's it's. Yeah, because you can. I, fly I like the new fly. Because like, well, they can drop. You can drop. They can drop down to hover. There's a lot of flyer squadrons, especially with the newer books coming out. There's more flyer squadrons, but they don't have the ability to drop down to hover and contest objectives. So that's why that's uh, even even better. Yeah. So this is it's this is without question a good formation to bring sure. because hell drakes are just good by themselves, and the fact that they have their own formation is awesome. I'm so glad that I found this when we were doing our apocalypse game. Like <laughs> I am for sure gonna bring this because it's just you gotta get it's really one. good. And the demon force thing really makes it so much better. Oh man, does it yeah. ever? Because it, it makes you good against vehicles too. Because you're you're. Um, your bail flame or strength six. Right, you can do some you know, rear armor, side armor right. damage. But in the event that you are doing your uh, your Hades auto cannon, which is strength eight, it's still not bad. Uh, you could whiff all four of your shots though. You could. Yeah. But well, well, yeah. Three is really yeah, scary. Yeah, it's fifty. You get two shots on average. On average, but I mean that's average. It is average. You're right. But if you have more than one, chances are you're going to be doing some damage. Reroll failed armor pen is a big deal. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. But is it enough of a big deal to like. Is it enough to offset the Bale Flamer? I don't know. Because you still go back to strength, six, strength seven, correct? Yeah. Um, you can still re it's one guaranteed hit, you can re roll the armor penetration on that. You know what? I, I always bring these guys with the Bale Flamers. Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. That's how I build them. Yeah. yeah. Vector striking other flyers and Bale Flaming ground units. That's how I like yeah, it. Yeah, with being able to vector strike other flyers, like the only thing you I really want, if you didn't have vector strike, the bell flamers for shooting other flyers, so you have the sky flyer. But you have vector strike, so you don't need that bell flamer. Bell flamer can't shoot other flyers. They can't. It's a template. No, the sorry, the Hades auto cannon. Right. If you didn't have vector strike, I guess the Hades auto cannon gets a little bit better, because it's one of your few things in the list that has sky flyer. Yeah, but then that would make you really expensive for your points, because you're 170 and you only have two abilities. Like that's. But it is armor 12, front and side, so... Which is still good. Yeah, and it, he has it will not die. When I Again, remember to make it. When you remember to roll that, yeah. yeah. So. And it's very rare, actually, that I make a roll. And that when I do remember, and it's like, shame on you for forgetting. Just because of that, you're not going to get it. It seems like that's what happens. Punish him. Yeah. <laughs> but let us know what you think of this formation. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It's a good formation to bring. Bring it. Yep. And... Bring that asset where you get to bring back a formation that you lost. It's, it's the type of formation that you, it's so good, not stupidly good, but so good that it's going to be in every, every one of your Apocalypse games. Yes. Like the, other, the other ones you would try out, or you, you might bring it, you might not bring it, or Taylor 2 bring it, but this is going to be in every one of them. I think so. Yeah, like there's no reason not to bring this list. Yeah. Or this formation. This formation, yeah. Yeah, there's no reason not to. So let us know what you think. Leave a comment. Thank you very much for being a Vault member and supporting us and allowing us to do all of this. And if you're, if you're a new Vault member, welcome. Hope you stay. Hope you enjoy. 
Hope this adds to the uh, smile on your face today. And if you're an old vault member, thank you. Hope you like this. Hope you stay. Hope this added to the smile on your face today. I'm Steve, you're supposed to I'm interrupt me and like say stuff. I'm, That's good. I'm, I'm listening to the good stuff really? happening right Are now. You? Yeah, just uh, I'm, Steve, I'm, you're a good person. Thank you. But do you like people? Most people. Really? Who don't you like? Colin gets a little annoying next to me. Colin. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's good people. Yeah, I love he's, that kid. You just said he's good people. I love that kid. He's good. He, he's very entertaining. Yeah. Okay. He sits next to me in the office and he does all the editing. So uh, Cullen is amazing because he can kind of like do everything. Yeah. And he's very reliable. And why does this turn into a conversation about Cullen? We, we, we like we like Cullen. We like Cullen, and you know, he's leaving. We play Magic the Gathering after work. I didn't know age. that, but he's he's leaving and he's going to school. I'll miss him. And we don't want him to go to school because that means we're going to lose our fancy intros mm -hmm. if he goes mm -hmm. to school. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're, we're talking about like the story times with like the special effects. And he just came in here and he wrote an episode of Life of a Wargamer, and it was hilarious. I'm like, okay, we're, we're going to do it. Yeah. Because yeah. he did it. Like he's writing the the dialogue and the script and the, he's storyboarding it. He's going to do a lot more than what I do for them. I just turn the camera on and I... It's a different style, though. It's a completely different style. I think it'll be pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm excited to see it. I can't wait. Steve's going to be in it because Steve's in everything now. Because when Steve is in stuff, it's... <laughs> it's just better. It is. Tell him. <laughs> see the comments that are coming right now? You know what? I, I agree with that. Steve is a good person. Yeah. He does make the video better. Absolutely. I'm getting a little arrogant, I know. Are you? It's, it's, it's getting to my head. Are you getting it? Uh, uh, dude. I, I'm, I'm a superstar. You will never have a bigger head than me. <laughs> no, seriously, look, look at the size of our heads. Like, I, it doesn't matter if you go front or... Actually, kind of does, yeah. No, no, okay, th there you go. You have a bigger head than me right now. <laughs> but like side to side, real. Look at you the... You do! You have a bigger I head than me! I have a bigger face, okay? No, I got a bigger head. Like, no, I think like, this way. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, you have a bigger head than me yeah. that way. How does that work? I... I think it was, like, I don't know. That's I an optical illusion. I'm, I'm like, my head is just... Okay, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you guys? Yeah. And then this way? It's so <laughs> weird. That's the weirdest <laughs> thing ever. I got a long face. Do Maybe you? that's what it is. That's I probably have a very round one. Right? No, it's not too no, round. I don't. No, it's not round. It's, it's a perfect face, Steve. It, it's very perfect. Thank you. Yes. Don't you love your life? I feel good now. Yeah, good, good, warm, fuzzy inside. Wow, this went on like five minutes this later. Is, than I, I don't know what it is. I don't even know.